What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Dose. I'm here at Astoria Skate Park in beautiful Queens, New York, with legendary New York City OG skateboarder Rodney Torres. Very excited and proud of your last venture, Toro Skateboards NYC. Can you tell us a little bit about sort of the genesis of, of Toro and, and, and break it down from sort of the moment that came into your head and, and to where we are right now? Toro was basically a, a nickname given to me by Steve Rodriguez when I was like 13 years old and it just kind of stuck throughout my skateboarding career. It's just something that, you know, in the transitional period of my life that I just wanted to take to the next level and kind of be able to use that to help kids just based on everything I've learned in skateboarding and help them, guide them and direct them into becoming, I guess, the best they can be, you know? And uh, that's how Toro started. What I'm really feeling is the sort of overall look and feel of the brand. Like, you've, you've chosen sort of very simple but uh, effective graphics. Can you tell me a little bit about sort of how you came up with the look and feel of Toro? You know, I just wanted it to be simple, clean, and effective. And something that, obviously, people can relate to everyone, especially if it's something that's to focus on the kids and the people of New York, you know? Tell me a little bit about the team that you're building and some of the kids that you're supporting. Trying to develop a team basically of like one of the best kids from each of the five boroughs. Right now I have Joseph Gill from the Bronx. Leo Heinert from Staten Island. And Alejandro Batista from here in Queens. Leo Heiner to the rising star right now. He's got all the hype. The other two kids I'm you know, trying to bring up, so it's cool. And they're all natives of the city, which is exactly what I think how it should be. Are you sort of taking the Stacy Peralta approach and putting this team together with a specific skill set in mind, a particular style for each of these guys, or you know what I mean? What's your criteria for, for choosing the kids uh, that are going to represent Toro? I think the the kids I'm looking for have to have the entire package. You know, they have to have style. They have to have a good attitude. They have to have overall a good head on their shoulders. You know, yeah, they all have something genuine about them to offer, and uh, I think you'd have to meet them and get to know them in order to see that. But they all definitely possess some sort of quality and skill. And that's it, you heard it first here on Dose, Toro NYC, the brand to watch coming out of New York City, representing strictly the locals, for the locals. We see big things for the brand. Rodney, thanks a lot for dropping in. Mm -hmm.